Hello, I'm David McClellan for IB Times and welcome to Weekly Wrap, where we gather up this week's top technology tidbits and squeeze them into a tasty two-minute snack. This week, it's all about IFA. Europe's largest consumer electronics show has returned to Berlin and, true to form, has unleashed a bevy of smartphones, tablets and wearables, plus TVs, AV and kit for the connected home. The march towards high-definition video continues apace, with Sony, Samsung and Philips all announcing new 4K devices for the masses. Out of the blocks first was Sony to reveal its flagship Xperia Z5 smartphone lineup. Among the handsets was the Z5 Premium, the world's first phone with a 4K screen, somehow managing to pack 8 million pixels into your pocket. Never one to be left behind for long, Samsung dropped the world's first Ultra HD Blu-ray player, finally giving early adopters something to spin up on their 4K TVs. But if the discs themselves take a while to arrive, the player, penciled to retail in early 2016 for under £350, will also be able to stream 4K content from streaming video-on-demand services including Netflix, Amazon and YouTube. Back at IFA in 2013, Samsung sparked the recent wave of smartwatches with the original Galaxy Gear. Two years and half a dozen designs later, IB Times' man on the ground at IFA Alistair Charlton thinks the Korean firm has finally cracked it with a Samsung Gear S2. Alistair went hands-on with the round-faced tech watch and confessed that he didn't want to give it back, saying that Samsung has produced a smartwatch which can absolutely go head-to-head -head with the Apple Watch. Time will tell. Another eagerly anticipated announcement came from Chinese manufacturer Huawei. The world's third largest smartphone seller promised the assembled press a new era of touch and, true to its word, revealed the first smartphone to feature a forced touch screen. The impressive looking Mate S handset features a 5.5 inch screen, an all metal chassis and fingerprint sensor on the rear. To read all about these stories and more, head over to ibtimes.co.uk forward slash tech or follow us on Twitter at ibtimesuktech. I'm David McClelland for IB Times. See you next time.